feeling overwhelmed by the sheer amount of tasks that you have written down on your to-do list? To do or not to do? That is the question. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to help you tackle that ginormous to-do list that you have into something that's a little more manageable and a little more workable. Let's jump right in. So you've processed all those things that were weighing on your mind, those projects, tasks, and to-dos, and you've created a nice long list of things that have to get done. Now what? How am I gonna do it all, you might be asking. Well, in this video, I would like to propose that you don't do it all. What do I mean by that? I want you to create a not to-do list. It basically is as it sounds. You put your to-do list in front of you, and then next to that, have another list and title it the not to-do list. Or you can just use your to-do list and use a simple crossing out of an item to determine that you are not going to do it. So all you need to do is take a look at those items on your list and consider a few different factors. The first question is, does this item really need to get done? The next question is, is it meaningful to me to get this done? And why? Is it urgent? Does it need to get done now? Or can it be done in the future? Sometime, potentially next month, when it will be more relevant to your current circumstances. If I complete this task, will it help lower my anxiety? Not that you should do all activities based on this question, but it is important to consider, will the people around me be happier if I complete this task? Is this task really important to my life goals and vision? And does it help propel me towards those things and towards my dreams? If you answered no to any of these questions, then I would highly consider that you put this item on your not to do list. Here are some more things to consider while reviewing your list items. If you answer yes to any of these next questions, I would also highly encourage you to consider adding those tasks to your not to do list. What's the worst case scenario or outcome that could happen if this item does not get completed? And am I okay with that outcome? Ask yourself, who is someone I could delegate this task to? Can you delegate this task? Think about what the worst case scenario or worst outcome could be if you don't do this item. Would you be okay with that outcome and not do this item? Now ask yourself, who will be impacted if this item does not get completed? And am I okay with that? Will I be happier if I don't do this task? Am I doing this task purely just to please somebody else? Okay, that's everything for this video. I hope that this little filtering list of questions will help you as you go through your massive to-do list, shrink it down by creating your not to-do list, and then be able to revisit that as you go about your days and create new tasks to realize, oh, wait a minute, that's something on my not to do list. I've actually decided I'm not going to do that. And it will help your brain process and realize I'm not doing those things so that you can put your focus and attention on those things you really actually want to be doing those necessary, important items that will help push your dreams and goals forward and help you to be your most productive self. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I share videos every week about productivity, setting vision and goals for your life so that you can be successful in those things that you've set out for yourself to do. Have a great day, guys, or evening, wherever you're watching this from, and I will see you in my next video next week. Take care.